All right, it's about to start pouring, so I gotta make this quick. But here we have the tour of the Singhurst Drive Railroad Crossing, uh, just south of Terre Haute, Indiana. This is on the Indiana Railroad Chicago sub. And I'm hoping a train will be coming from Spring Hill. I saw the INRD Baker turn sitting down there, but I'm not sure if that's gonna happen before dark. So I figured if worse comes to worse, I'll just make this crossing tour. So, we got a pair of uh, earlier 2010s INRD signals. And as soon as this car passes, I will show you the cantilever and then I'll go over to the other one. Alright, so here's the first signal. I don't have my cannons right now, so I'm using my S6 to do this. We got a Lincoln Industries cantilever. A Western Colonies gate mechanism. Here we have the emergency information from INRD. Crossing dot number is 372929P, mile post 187.770. The lights are all progress rail 12 by 20 inch lights. Let's see, let's see. They're not the flat kind. And we got. Uh, GE uniform look LEDs. There's a look at the overhead lights. Then we have the gate lights, which are all Western Colin Hayes LED gate lights. Side look at the signal. We have track view south towards Jasonville, uh, and then eventually Linton, and it ends at the Crane military base, down somewhat close to Bloomfield. It's about probably the nearest town. This is quite muddy here. So this track I'm standing on is the main, and then that farther track is a siding that's probably disused. I mean, there's a couple freight cars on it down there but the tracks on it are extremely rusty. Uh, the grade is a mixture of asphalt and wood. Here's a look at the other track. See, it's really rusty. Here's the relay case. And there is a amber gate light, as you can see. Not sure who made that. Can't really see what it says. I already used these a lot on their 2010s, earlier 2010s installs, and pretty much everything before that, really. At least from the 1990s, I believe. Ford. The flange ways appear to be. The flange ways appear to be. Almost filled here. I'm not sure if that's permanent or it's just gravel kind of drifted onto the roadway. But that's just the siding. Main line's in great shape. Uh, that's looking north into Terre Haute, where this line merges with the CSX CE and D subdivision. Then it comes off again at Belt Junction, and that goes up to INRD Van Yard. And eventually it just ends at the Duke Energy plant in the north side of town. But that portion, from one customer north to Duke Energy, it's abandoned now. But there's no signalized crossings on that portion. Just a couple passive crossings. Um, here we have the second signal. It's starting to get harder rain, so i got to make this quick. This signal ha would have had a Western Colin Hayes mechanical bell when it was installed. But at some point, rather recently... It got replaced, but the base is a Lincoln Industries base, Western Colonies gate mechanism. Here we have some more emergency information. The lights are more progress rail 12 by 20 inch lights, as you can see, and more GE uniform look LEDs inside of them. Got some more Western Colonies LED gate lights, and the bell for this crossing on the signal here is a General Signals Type 3 electronic bell. 
and it's pretty hard to hear from all the way over there, which, because I've actually got this crossing in action before, just at night time. And based on how it's looking right now, I'm going to assume I'm not going to be getting it right now. But this is the uh, Singhurst Drive Railroad Crossing, just south of Terre Haute, Indiana. If I remember, I'll put a link in the description to the video. I'll put a link in the description if I remember to do that. Um, like I said, it was at night, so you can't really see everything, but... Anyways, this is Singhurst Drive, just south of Terre Haute. Over and out.